Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, and it is, hold on, raining, raining, raining. Yeah, this weather is horrible right now, and it's supposed to do this pretty much all day. But then I looked at the forecast in between 12 and 2. That's our practice time. It says it's not going to rain, but we're still not going to have practice because we just don't trust that. Um, the hubby is in Border Burger getting us some breakfast. He's so sweet because I told him I would drive because I was like, I need to get some breakfast to take my medicine. And he's like, No, we got time because, girl, I yeah, I didn't want to drive anyway, like, because I don't still don't feel good. Um, and this rain is horrible to us people fighting autoimmune that affects the joints and that's all I can say when it comes to that but we're headed to um get uh to um bleh, 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 decorate um this train um I may have some footage you know of the completed thing but we gotta hustle like nothing before you know what I'm saying so um well okay then just back all the way up into drive through like you own it people just you know lose their mind when they you know when the rain happens they're crazy half the time driving anyway but my goodness so um yeah that's what we're what we're doing this morning this thing is starting to go down on some on my face the struggle so um i'll let you guys say hello to the hubby um when he gets back in the car good morning he's trying to get his food y'all know i need that hey miss mary who's the other lady man? i don't be forgetting i'm talking to us no. i guess he got brain fog it's miss pam hey miss pam and hey miss mary and miss mary you said miss mary right and then asha then, hey, Miss Asha. Then Shaw will win. Who the crazy lady? Is she on that thing? Is she on your thing with you? What crazy lady? I don't know. That might be one of y'all. I'm not what quite sure. What crazy lady are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know who he talking about, y'all. So we're finally done with the train. It turned out really, really good. I'll try to insert some pictures so you guys can see. Um, are you tired? I ain't never tired. I look tired, but I got to do it. He ain't never part. tired. Is it what, what, what is that thing? It's the Energizer yeah, Bunny. Same thing. So now you're a bunny. Well, I'm tired. It was hot in that back room. It was almost 80 degrees and then they turned it down but we was about finished by the time it started to notice the difference so um uh yeah so but we got everything accomplished had good uh, parent and athlete support so that made everything a whole lot easier to um you know deal with so yeah now go home and I'm, I probably need to take a, a nap. I don't know. We got so much stuff to get done. I'm so tired. Like that heat just took every ounce of anything that I did have in me out. And we had a parent that she can't get overheated because she goes into seizures because they haven't diagnosed why she keeps having seizures. So we're trying to make sure she stay cool. So yeah. I'll come back a little later guys. Do you need to say anything else? Still looking for them people. Maybe y'all just don't have y'all Wi-Fi internet service going good in the Netherlands. Or uh, what was the other place? Scandinavia. Yeah, they're Scandinavia. So let's let's get closer. I say Japan. I know y'all got it in China. And I think I just learned how to say hi, Ohio. So hit me up. <laughs> oh my god. Help me. Why? Why? Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, about 5.30 in the morning. Yes, I have my floppy beach hat on. 
I'm prepared today. We're getting us some breakfast. Um, my food wasn't right, so the hubby went back inside. Um, because we're at Whataburger, and I gotta, I always do the sausage bob, um, no egg, and they gave me an egg and cheese bob. Just egg and cheese, no sausage. Yeah. So he's going back in to get that fixed. <laughs> we are supposed to be at the beach at 545. That ain't going to happen. Nope, nope, nope. But we'll be there by 6. Maybe we should tell that other parent that we said to be there. I don't even know how we still, like, running behind because we got up at 440. It is what it is. See the van? It's packed to capacity. You probably can't see it, but... Those are balloons, like, this, this is the ceiling and everything in the back for this train. So, saying a good prayer, because I know that our team will win this $1,000 for our club. Hey, guys. So, I'm just waking up. The marathon was a success. We came in third place, which weren't really happy about that with the contest with the table, but it is what it is. Um, I'm just not waking up and I look a hot mess, I'm pretty sure. But literally by the time we got home, I have just crashed. Like, I'm so tired. It was so cold. It was like in the 40s and being on the beach by the water, of course, it was so much colder. Like we were like, our hands were swollen because we were so cold that we were passing the water out. I didn't think to bring gloves or anything because I just assumed it was going to get warmer. Um, shame on me. Um, so, yeah, the hubby's at practice. I could not make it. I I tried. Um, I've literally been in the bed since about 1 o'clock, if not 1230. Um, it just, this disease takes everything out of you that you think you had um and it's just frustrating not to remember certain things and just no energy but I was glad I had the energy to do what we needed to get done um today which was a huge success so the pain that you feel after was worth it um I've been under my heat pad because when I tell you my legs were like they felt like a block of ice. So I think the high today is only 60 something, but it took me forever. I want to say it took a whole probably two hours, if not longer, for my body to start warming up. And like I feel like I'm thawing out or whatever, but that's where I'm at right now in the bed. And that's where I'll probably stay um, for the rest of the day. I don't even feel like eating at this point. I'm just drained. So just wanted to come in and say that's what happened. I'll insert some photos. The team did awesome, you know, with um helping. We got the water out. We even ran with one of the um the last uh marathon person. He was like had to be in his seventies. And um, so our athletes ran with him to like give him encouragement, like you're almost there, you're almost there. So that was like super sweet. Despite the cold, everyone had a good time. So I'll come back. I'll try to close it out tonight. Guys, I'm sorry if that video prior was blurry. Um, but I apologize. Alright guys, so... I'm sitting up so I could try to get some crackers or something in me. They gave us red beans and rice um, when we were there. But my butterfly rash, I don't know what's wrong with my uh, camera. It's like grainy for some reason. But I took some pictures um, and I'll insert them. How bad my butterfly rash, my lips, like everything is like swollen. 
on my face. <clears throat> um, sore throat. I started getting a scratchy, <clears throat> scratchy throat yesterday, but today just tops it off because we had to cheer the runners on. And so that was constant screaming for like three hours. It was, it's, it was, oh, it's hard. So I'm just trying to get a couple of Ritz crackers and some Sprite. Um, cause my stomach kind of still is queasy. It's been like that for the last couple of days. I'm trying to check my oxygen level on my other finger, but I think my hands are too cold still for the, um, oxygen to register. I just put my blanket, it kicks off after three hours. So I'm putting my blanket back on, um, cause after I eat these few, uh, crackers and I will be going back to sleep um so my um hair loss um i guess i would i'll talk about that in a separate video because it's still occurring um i don't know like my husband is like really noticing it um more and where my head i'll have like sore spots and that's where my hair is like starting to come out at um, I can't even get a reading on my oxygen. I just know I'm like really, really shaky. Like I don't, and I know better, but it's like, well, it's not, the sun's not out. I mean, the sun's out, but you know, that it wasn't beaming hot. So you think you're okay because it's not hot, but you're not okay. Um, that wind whipping on my face. I mean, I had a hoodie on the entire time. I had a hat and had my beach hat, which you guys saw earlier. Then I put my hoodie on top of that because I didn't know, you know, when the sun was going to come out. And then we start, you know, taking off the hoodie and stuff like that. So, yeah, this thing was not reading my finger whatsoever. I don't, I don't know. I'm a figment of your imagination. <sighs> But yeah, what did you guys do for your weekend? Comment below. We'd love to hear it. Um, to, you know, it's good. My oxygen's good. So I'm happy about that. But my fingers feel like ice. Um, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to come try to get a clearer picture. But see, like I wore my hair in two little pigtails. But they were actually hanging down in this area right here. Um, it's really starting to go once I have it like in a ponytail, you can really tell. But y'all, when I tell you I got so upset because I had my, you know, my two pigtails on each side, like Pippi Longstock and Braids or whoever, I don't know. Um, after party, people, you know, they're at a restaurant, they have red beans and rice, and of course there's a bar. So everyone, you know, they got free beer if they want beer. So this lady comes up, hey. I love your hair and grabs the end of my doggone um ponytail pigtail. Excuse me. Do I do 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 I know you? You know what I hate the most? I hate when I'm with my mommy and people see me. And they're like, oh are those braids? No, Susan, those are dreads. And they're like, oh, can I touch them? I know. Super safe. You don't touch a black man's hair? And then they just, just start petting me like a dog. <sighs> People always pet me like a dog. But my mommy said I had to be polite. So I just sit there like, oh, thank you. And they're always like, oh, I want my hair like that. Do you, Sandy? Do you really? Bro. Last time I checked, no, I don't. I don't even let. The only people that is in my hair is my hairdresser and my husband at this point in my life. And if my niece decides, my little niece says, hey, Tia, let me comb your hair. That's about it. Nobody else ain't getting in my doggone head. I don't understand why some people feel like they could just come up and just touch your hair. Don't do that. That is disrespectful. And my, um, the parents are looking at me like, did she just come and touch your hair? 
her white parents. Yes, she did. And that is a big no-no for black people anyway. Don't touch our hair, period. I don't know you. I don't know what's on your hands. I don't know what kind of spirit you got. No. And I know she didn't mean anything probably by it, but I don't know you. I don't know if you had a couple of beers before I came waiting in line to get my red beans and rice, but that's a problem. You feel me? That's a problem. Am I wrong? I probably should I, I, have. I was this close from like, excuse me, you don't know me. Don't do that. But we hadn't got our announcement on if we won first, second, or third yet. So I wasn't trying to mess things up for the club. Trying to be professional. But that just really made me mad. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll be back.